welcome to a game. This game is called... Uh, oh, oh, the Planet Crafter. As you can assume from the title alone, this game is about crafting planets. You play God and try to create a livable ecosystem on this planet. Now, that's what a noob would think. Your actual main goal in this game is to try your hardest to get hit by a meteor. So I spent my first five hours playing this game trying my hardest to get hit by a meteor. And then, I finally did it. Wait, I'm gonna get hit, I'm gonna get hit, I'm getting hit by a meteor. Today's the day, today's the big day! I got the achievement! <laughs> what? And after that momentous occasion, there's really nothing left to do. So I guess now we can do all that planet restoration stuff or, or whatever. This game does a lot of things right and a lot of things wrong in my potentially bad but unbiasedly good opinion. Now let's go back and start at the beginning. You crash land on this planet and you are given a goal of creating a planet with a livable, breathable atmosphere. From afar, it kind of looks like your normal space game. It's got orange everywhere. It's got these minerals and ores of various shapes and sizes. And it's got a horrible, horrible inventory size. And even with the upgrades, your backpack will still fill up incredibly fast. So yeah, I, I guess in that sense, it's, it's just like every other space game. What sets this game apart is that goal I mentioned before. Now, I'm not a scientist or anything, but the only way to get a breathable atmosphere on a planet is to have something that converts carbon dioxide to oxygen. That is correct. I'm talking about trees. Obviously, you can't just plant a tree in the middle of space. The tree would die. So instead, you got to build this thing which increases this number in the corner up here, over here. I didn't really get what was going on either, but as long as you understand that the bigger this number is, the more life is on the planet, then, then we're good. I played this game with two friends of mine and we all had different jobs. I, I don't think the other two really did much, but my job was to create biomass, which meant I got to birth animals, insects, and flowers. Look, you can literally grow your own bees. Watch this. Bop, and now there's bees. Isn't that amazing? I made a bee. I made a beehive. Oh my god, oh my god, where? It's in the front yard. They make honey. It does. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Nick, come on, check out this. This will actually bring us to the major selling point of this game. As you progress, the land actually changes around you. You physically see your work come into fruition. As lakes form, the moss grows, plant life sprouts, and eventually living creatures appear. <laughs> Just watch plant take it dump. <laughs> what the heck? I thought <laughs> I'm a shy pooper. You can also explore your surroundings as there are many signs of life before your own. Crashed spaceships, Previous explorers' bases and puzzles that lead to secret ruins are all around for you to find. All right, let's do this thing. All right, this is the biggest moment of our lives. Oh, I, oh, I tried to. Oh, they it all out. look so oh. natural. <laughs> it looks correct. Like we made the right decision stacking them. I oh, mean, you have to wait. Dang, how tall is this fucking door? It's almost done. In the hallway. Oh. Oh. Of course, you will be taking multiple trips to these places because your inventory will fill up so incredibly fast, it's annoying. Aside from the man-made secrets to find, there's also natural formations that are really fun to find and explore. There's these natural sand falls, there's the lava zone, there's stinky fart gas zone, there's this underground mushroom zone. By far the prettiest area is this place. I don't know why. And I, I don't know how, but I like it here. You can also launch these rockets and sometimes horrible things like this will happen. I launched three rockets actually. Oh my God. Two of them have merged and are going away together. The last one is alone forever. I didn't know I was gonna launch three. I didn't know I had enough for three. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh, you guys have no idea what I just witnessed. Oh, and this glitch was really cool. It's just gonna get smaller and smaller and smaller. 
<laughs> Tiny little piece of baby cobalt. I'm gonna get you. And I built this. <laughs> I'm really proud of this. I, I don't really, I don't really know what it does, but I'm glad I did it. Wait, Flynn, look what I learned. You do it like no one else, my friend. In the late game, you can find spacesuits and customize your look with them, which is nice. There, it's all four, it's all four of us all hanging out like <laughs> we, we do. Uh -huh. The crew, the four musketeers. This is how all four of us usually stand. Yep. Mm -hmm. I stand like this so you can't see that there's no name tag above this guy's head. Calvin. Calvin. Calvin Harris. Listener likes to keep it casual. You stand on his head? Yeah. I said, you said, mm -hmm. you said, mm -hmm. you said what? I actually uh. can't hear you from on top of Calvin's head. Our oh. our fourth player who we play with all the time. Oh, said, Calvin, what? get in on he this. Said, <laughs> oh. He's shy. What? These moves come straight from the home planet. We're spreading trees yeah. and oh, dance. Yeah. Bring it down now. One of the coolest parts about this game is that eventually you progress to a point where the atmosphere is completely breathable and you no longer need to worry about your oxygen meter. Okay, the butterfly dome is 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 in our possession. I put two, put the golden, ones two golden butterflies. Oh my god! Oh, oh, this is the greatest quality. This is the greatest day of my life. This place looks so fucking cool at night. Have you seen the butterflies? No. Get over here. Oh my god, wow. They're fucking magical. <laughs> I know. Like avatar butterflies. They're so cool. And thinking back on it now, the only part about this game that I found unbearable was the inventory. Just download a mod that lets you stack items and all of a sudden you have yourself a nearly perfect game. I would also love to see like wild animals roaming around that you could like tame or something, but that would just be a little bonus thing on the side. Ling's landing. Um, we seem to, we have Is a it, problem. Are they green? No, they're, they're, oh! He hit markers all over the ground. Oh. They hit our, they hit our nuclear generator! Oh boy. <laughs> if you plan on playing this game for yourself, I can only give you one piece of advice, and I suggest you remember it well. Grow eggplants. As soon as you possibly can, you must grow as many eggplants as you can. Do not stop growing eggplants.